Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we're here. We're here for a Nintendo Direct. I'm Aaron, by the way, if you haven't been to my channel. I'm sure you have before. But Nintendo Direct will be uh, starting in what? Just over 10 minutes. So uh, I'm going to yeah, just have a chat with you guys. What do you think you're going to see in this Nintendo Direct? I've even got a bingo card. If you want to uh, bring a, a copy of it up on your screen, it's in the, the video description over on YouTube. Hey Zelda, hey Jess, uh, Paul, welcome to the stream, Mr. Leon, Mr. Boliff, Just Super, Packy Shepherd, how are you guys doing tonight? It's crazy, it's like, honestly, about half hour ago, I was like, I'm so tired, <laughs> I want to go to bed, yeah, uh, I think this is probably the latest, there's been a Nintendo Direct, I think the previous one was... Well, when the Mario Maker 2 and Zelda Link's Awakening reveal was on, I believe that was about 10 o'clock. This one's 11. Crazy. Hey, Eric. Uh, no worries. I was going to say, it's it's gone mid. It's coming up to midnight for you, isn't it? I'm not expecting any uh, Norwegians to be joining us tonight either. I can't blame them. It's gone... It'll be... Yeah... Pretty much midnight. You gotta be a human traffic sign, that's crazy. Remember when there was that switch present oh the four was it four AM? I remember getting up really early in the morning, going to bed early, getting up crazy early. It was Jap it was the Japanese one, wasn't it? Crazy. Seems like ages ago, but really it was only what, three years? Three and a bit years? Uh, so, talking about bingo, while we're trying to decide what we're going to be seeing today. So, for fun, I made this bingo card. I always do them for the directs. So, this, not all of these, I, I reckon, will show up. But I would expect some of them to. The Unknown Ocean Productions. Hey there. Hey, Mr. Piffles. Yeah. Uh, we've got DLC on the uh, the bingo card. Hopefully we get this Friends update. I think it's going to be too early to see Breath of the Wild 2 stuff. But, you know, Nintendo surprised us last time. So they could. Uh, another long shot, I think, is Rare Replay. That would be amazing, especially since Banjo-Kazooie is coming to Smash. There's been a lot of rumours about a Sunshine remaster or a Mario Sunshine 2, so I've got that on my list. The new fighter, well, I think that's a given. The rumour is that, yeah, an SNK character is going to be on this. Mario Kart. Now, Mario Kart World, well, Mario Kart Tour comes out in, what, two weeks? Two, three weeks? So they might show a bit of that, or they could reveal, we're getting a new Mario Kart. Yeah, it's a bit of a pipe dream. <laughs> hey, Don Harris, welcome. A new Banjo-Kazooie game. Who knows? We're getting Banjo coming to Smash. Possibility, maybe. Bayonetta 3. It's been ages since we've seen anything of Bayonetta 3. What is going on with it? Animal Crossing uh, 3. I don't think it is free. It's just Animal Crossing Switch. I don't know why I put free. There's been way, way more Animal Crossings. A new Star Fox, possibility, but unlikely, let's be honest. Uh, a Mario 3D World port, I mean, that's probably one of the last Wii U games to get ported if they do announce it. They could go for a cheap, dirty port for Christmas. Minecraft, I see there's, you know, there's a lot of Minecraft stuff going on at the minute. Uh, PewDiePie has made, well, I think it's PewDiePie has made it popular, well, really popular again. And uh, I think there was some Disney stuff that had just come out for Minecraft, so possibly we could be getting something of that. Uh, Link's Awakening is coming out in, what, two weeks, but they might go a bit more into the Dungeon Maker. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I've been hearing some rumours about this this past week. It's possible. But it could be come to the Switch. I mean, Activision did release like Modern Warfare 1 and... No, what Modern Warfare 1. And I think Black Ops on the Wii U. Or Wii or whatever. 
So it is possibility that that's coming. Roller Champions is a new game from Ubisoft, which is it's all gone a bit quiet. They had a beta back at E3, and nothing more has been said. But I think that'll be coming to the Switch. So maybe they'll announce something. Metroid Prime 4. Again, I think that's a pipe dream. Who knows? SNES Online. Give us SNES games. I'm tired of NES games that I played over and over. I want some SNES stuff. We got the Mario and Sonic Olympics. It'll probably show. Kingdom Hearts has been rumoured for a long time, so maybe. What about a new Resident Evil game? I'll be up for that. There's been a leak of a co-op one, a multiplayer one. Netflix, for the people that would like Netflix on their Switch. A new Kid Icarus game. It's all gone a bit dead since uh, the 3DS game, so poss possibility. Lion King and Aladdin pack got announced last week, so they could be showing it a bit of that. I mean, it doesn't look any different from from uh, previous versions of the game, but they might show it. Um, hey, McGamer X, welcome. How are you doing today? Hey, amazing gamer. I will just finish off the last two. Yeah, apparently rumours have been circulating. Assassin's Creed is coming out. There's going to be more on the Switch. I think that's a given. And there could be some more VR stuff for Labo, because apparently uh, it's doing pretty well. I mean, I, I haven't got the kit to try it out with my Switch. Maybe there's going to be like a Labo or a VR headset for the Switch Lite. They might announce something. Jess, that was one I forgot to add, actually. Xenoblade HD. I cobbled this together in about half an hour, so I'm pretty sure I missed stuff off. Uh, you want to see Steve or any Undertale for Smash... Oh, you'll be sad if, if they do, right? Okay. I don't think it's happening. Uh, Crash for Smash. Crash would be a, a nice inclusion. Not going to happen. Banjo Info. I, f I, I think it would be amazing if Nintendo turned around and said, Banjo, drop in today after the Direct. But I'm going to, I want to go bed. <laughs> I don't want to stay up playing it. Oh, I don't know. It, it might be tempting. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2 info. I still think it's a bit early, but who knows. And yeah, we want some DLC for Mario Maker 2. Although the Friends mode would be good. Hey, Sean the Great Gamer. Imagine an Odyssey 2. I did think Odyssey 2 was going to be the next Mario 3D game, but I don't know. There's so many rumours going around that it could be a Sunshine remake or sequel. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is going to be a new Odyssey. I'd be happy with any new 3D Mario, to be fair. I'd prefer if it wasn't a remake of Sunshine. I'd prefer a brand new Mario game, to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, I play Minecraft on the Switch, by the way. Yeah, there's so so many people are getting back into Minecraft. I still am not convinced. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got too much going on anyway. Uh, so what does it say? We've got Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield and Luigi Mansion 3. As long as those two games don't take up half the Direct. Because some of you guys probably know I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. So it doesn't really interest me that much. Luigi Mansion 3, the multiplayer stuff looks good. The actual game, I'm not too sure if I'll buy but... As Sean the Great Gamer, you got to 3k subs. That's amazing. Well done, man. To be fair, it's difficult getting... Well, you know, creating content, getting subs on YouTube. So, you know what? Fair play to you, man. Imagine a Splatoon 3. I mean, they stopped... It's been over two years, hasn't it? They've, they've stopped all the Splatfests. Maybe that's because they're going to announce a new Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Streets of Rage 4, I was going to add Leon, but I don't think we'll see it. If we do, it'll be a very quick clip. 
and I have a feeling. Well, it's coming out next year, isn't it? They'll, it'll be covered at some point. Hey, Die 2, welcome. Uh, so we've got a couple of minutes to go. Not long now. Uh, for anyone in the UK watching, I mean, fair play to you. It's 11pm now. If you've got work or school tomorrow, well, I hope it doesn't affect you too much uh, staying up to watch this. If I fall asleep, well, <laughs> don't blame me. What would be the, uh, would like the gimmick off the Knights? Hey, NG, welcome. How you doing? Awesome. I hope you enjoy the stream. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping it's as good as that one we got back in February with Mario Maker 2 and uh, Link's Awakening. That that was the best direct I've ever seen. That was amazing. So uh, hopefully, yeah, this one's going to be just as good. Don't know. That's great news. App apprenticeship at an animation school. Well, you know what? You, you're you're more than welcome to make animations for my uh, channel <laughs> once you're done. Uh, you could end up being like that guy who fell asleep streaming. Yeah, I, I remember watching that. That was funny. <laughs> no, let's let's hope I don't fall asleep. Right, I'm gonna pause the music because it should hopefully be starting. Enjoy. Let me know if there's any sound issues. Here we go. Why didn't I add this to the bingo? Overwatch. I knew this was happening. <laughs> I only ever played the beta of this. But it looks alright. Actually looks like they've uh, put in the time to make it work properly on the Switch. Like with motion controls and stuff. Impressive. Middle of October, right. Minasan. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please Come take on. a look. Surprise us. I want to be surprised tonight. You gotta okay. see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? <laughs> Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's Interesting. a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, Step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Now this, team. this should be good, the Mario player. one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the cool. most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. 
Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. It looks difficult to go from there to another Luigi Mansion. It seemed to have it all. New free to start Kirby oh, game. cool. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town. They said this was free as well. Pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs. It's kind of job. weird. It, it looks very Victory, similar to Smash Bros. And work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. Okay. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world. I, I think it's going to get released today, quest. yeah. When Super Kirby Clash yeah, launches there you later go, today. today. That's, that's remember, pretty cool. It's free to if you got the today. online. This long-awaited, recently released RPG Charles is Mano. getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, I've heard good things about Mana, switch their class, but I've never played, played any of the, the secret of Mana the games. Light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks. For yeah, that's what I was thinking, party. Baki Shepard. <laughs> Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials that's, of Mana. That's Manor still a way off, then. Still way off, yeah. Is what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin huh. vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship. It's and a pretty the uh, unique art style. I'll give return. it that. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship, observe the situation, and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Not too sure on that. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. I'm sure it'll be good, but maybe not for me. There's a small town out there with a big secret. A game for it. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little I'm sure Hero quite a few people will be happy with that Nintendo then. Switch, October 16th. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Interesting. It it does kind of Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. It definitely Ultimate. reminded me of Pokemon. 
There we go, we've got Banjo. Confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. When? When? Banjo and Kazooie. And the release date is... Today. What did I say? <laughs> today to Nintendo Direct. We'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching. That is right so now. harsh, Nintendo. What about us people Time in the UK that want to play this? Banjo and Kazooie. Well, Please later today, so probably early early hours it'll be out. <laughs> I'm not staying up for it. I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll probably stream it tomorrow. Huh? Snez? No, oh, Nick. SNK. Who are we going to get as a character then? I think this character is going to be more for the Japanese because they were massive into their Neo Geo. This King of Fighters. Okay. That's weird. I, I heard it was going to be a, a girl character. Surprises me. Oh, Fatal Fury. Right. Actually, Fatal Fury is a good fighting game. I'll give him that. Bit of a strange choice, to be fair. November. I don't think many people know... Who he is, to be fair. Terry Bogard from Unless you played uh, Neo Geo or Fatal Fury, four of the five you're out of luck. Included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? We're happy oh. to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Cool. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. So we've got to pay more money for it. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. There's going to be more characters coming in the future, though. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. I will be streaming this game on my channel, guys. Hopefully on Thursday the 20th, if I, if I get the game early. Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Now this in does look interesting. Alter chambers and save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening will launch. Oh, it does say you can transfer a dungeon. 20th. The new Link amiibo figure really, will be available really that same day. I do hope it, it works a bit like Mario Maker, where you can upload you know, them somewhere and people from can Super access Smash them. Brothers Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. 
<laughs> Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds and experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Cool. Until then, you can play hey, your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I like the fact you can switch between 2D, 2D graphics, sir. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then I keep hearing so Tokyo. many good things about this game. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. Okay, that's, that sounds weird. As up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And hey, in Kang, the yo, yo. Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later okay. today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. All Deadly begins, Premonition 2. Again, when FBI agent wow. Olivia Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case, she also opens a door to the unknown. I'm, I'm actually surprised about Orleans, this one. 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. That's bizarre. The, the first game in is a bit of a cult now, classic. Shocker. Oh, can you the get the original? Game in the series yeah. will launch on Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins. Later the first today. game has been a bit of a, a cult hit, but I wouldn't say it was like anything amazing. Divinity, but it, it's, Sin 2 Definitive it's interesting. Is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Oh, Divinity. Cool. Another one of those games that passed me by, really. I do like the uh, the Diablo type of game, but probably something I'd, I'd play on my PC rather than handheld. I tell you what, though, the Switch is getting some really sort of big games nowadays, which is all good to be fair. I they've come a long way since the Wii U, for sure. A message from Bethesda. Doom. Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary Doom of 64? Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. 
To be fair, the N64 version wasn't bad. N64 will release on Nintendo yeah. Switch on November 22nd this year. I love the music from Doom. It's awesome. <laughs> November that was. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization, Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more when Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Doesn't look too bad. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will that, shed That is very true, that they didn't Pokemon come in very stealth like, did they? <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety including outerwear and gloves. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your... Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I hope it is a good too, game. Don't you think? I just... Second, Pokemon Camp. Uh, until they make it a full-on MMO region, or something in that kind, Pokemon you know, full camp. 3D, walk around the world, meet with other Pokemon trainers. I've been want if if I ever was to play back. another Pokemon game, that's what I want. And um, in the wild it area, still has an app. You can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. Comes with a cooking simulator. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. They've obviously got that from uh, Breath of the, the Wild. you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself. They've got a Pokemon that's a tea pot. Hotels and restaurants. Its body where is where do they deep, get the idea for these new Pokemon? They're just like it smoking out allow there. A trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. It, it did remind me like it could have been like a, a, a distant relative. Watch as it uh, rises of Miss Pops. Along with the catch in its mouth. Totally. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. 
So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. SNES, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. Hopefully with other games that aren't on the SNES Classic. variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. This is cool. Good job, Nintendo. There are some you may not expect. Like Stunt, Stunt Race. Race. I used to love that game. Play on another system for it's... The first time. It's so you can face off not playable now, though. <laughs> multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Cool. Here are the first games we plan to release. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Whoa! Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. What, what do I do? Do I do Banjo or SNES to tomorrow Switch then? Online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, <laughs> you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES style controller... I've already got one of those, pretty much. ...exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the That's latest cool, information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice... You know what, I, th I think I will do the SNES tomorrow. Well, Especially with the multiplayer stuff. Nintendo Switch headlines. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. <laughs> can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Oh, cool. To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. I don't want to get hooked back Beyond on that, that right? The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris What's it? 99 will be available yeah. tomorrow. A packaged version including the game. I don't really DLC play Tetris that often now. Online, I got hooked for quite a long time and then I just kind of moved on. Except for the trying to get the new themes. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Probably Tokyo. about 7 p.m. tomorrow, Mario Leon. Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football. Football. Rugby seven. Actually, climbing, this is looking all right. Surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. I tell you what. Check out the this is the mode that kind of events. interests me. Each one rocking some sweet two. Like the old track buttons. and field where you had to like press the buttons. They're all new, all retro, That's, and very refreshing That is pretty cool. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. I've never bought uh, one of the Olympic Games, but at least that looked like it had been, the next Damon X you know, the work's been put into it. It's got a story mode. Ahead of the it's got the 2D classic week, style. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available cool. for download later today. I, I do want to give this one a go. You'll man your mech through it does the look interesting. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A I probably won't buy it, but I'll give it a go. For up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. 
So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. The Star Wars classic so fun, it's <laughs> back for more. Which one is that? Jedi. The New Republic Jedi is our uh, only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? I played that on the PC a, a few weeks, weeks ago. Of prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. Uh, it's quite good in multiplayer, the, uh, the Star Wars game. comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. I must admit, they've done a the most feared good job getting that to work on the Switch. Black Flag. Oh, they got... Oh, okay, Rebel Collection. Assassin's yep. Hunter and Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for cool. one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Of course, Just Dance. We can't have another one of those, can we? Can't not have another one of those. Oh, Grid's finally coming out. Cool. Oh, Nino Cooney, yeah. Liking the music choice. Devil May Cry 2. I'll wait for the collection personally. Oh, Vampire. That's a good game. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. And they say video games starters, cause, cause violence. You, tent. you know, Please I don't think so. Where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. 
We'd like to oh, really? offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools. I, and I wish I could get back into Animal Crossing. It's Let's a very, very chilled game, isn't it? So relaxing. We're going to need some materials. But I don't think I can get like another one. Branches. I played them all, except for the Wii version. I and think stones. I'm done now. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. So it looks like the big thing with this one is you can craft. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. I'll tell you what though, it does bring back some good memories well, when I used to play the, uh, to the DS one. A river. Getting up early on a Sunday a morning to go and meet that fox that would come and buy, buy my turnips or something Find for double price. I probably completely misremember, uh, mismembered that, but... <laughs> the scenery changes with the time and weather. Is it March the 20th? Sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island. It was it was supposed to be the Christmas game, wasn't it? But it's been delayed. The whole scene feels meant to be. So I'm kind of hoping there's going to be one big game. Make it a lasting you know, memory. you got Pokemon, fair play, but really, we want something else at Christmas time. How's Deserted Island? Or I do working? anyway. What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. The wide open eyes are a bit creepy. Yeah, they've been on the caffeine. Yeah, 20th March. Definitely a bit of wait for that for the, uh, the fans of Animal Crossing then. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Right. Xenoblade. Or Xeno, whatever it's called. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future.
Yeah, Xenoblade, yeah. Huh? Is that the Wii version? The Wii U version? I'm confused. It's a HD remake, okay. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is it was destined Wii. to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, it, yeah, that really was the last announcement. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, what, what did you guys think of it? We'll watch a bit of this as well. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. I'm surprised there was no Mario Maker 2 stuff. I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like Maybe they'll sneak a new Banjo Kazooie game in after this demo. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> that that would have been in the direct, surely. Now that today's Nintendo no Mario Maker, I'm I surprised. A bit more of your time. I thought they would have DLC you for that by now. In the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So That's the, the only thing is, for Christmas, I, I really wanted like a, a big Nintendo game game that wasn't Pokemon. Today I have my so I'm a little bit disappointed in that regard. But back in the there were some good games in there, some surprises. Like this. But I'm definitely looking forward Try to the uh, SNES the stuff Nintendo tomorrow. Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Interesting. All right, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, yeah, it's similar it, it, to Super it Mario definitely wasn't as good was as the one Nintendo back in February, back in where they did announce Zelda and uh, Mario Maker. Made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then they're not all Banjo always going to be great. To some people, that probably was an amazing Advance, direct. Like, everyone, you know, likes their own different things and so then there's banjo kazooie nuts and bolts which was released on xbox 360. uh what is banjo kazooie is that even a question believe it or not not everyone know, knows who banjo kazooie, kazooie is now like to the five percent of people i hope that don't know technically their arrival platform holder it should be even so should be about 7 p.m tomorrow kazooie to join the super smash brothers series I'll play. That, I will play crazy. Smash Brothers at Rare some point. I'm not too sure when, arms. but maybe I'll get a bit of practicing with Banjo Kazooie so, first. If you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but that is a bit weird. <laughs> that was a little weird. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into... Well, to be the fair, they just the got game. some advertisement, like so... Several of these I think if anyone likes Banjo-Kazooie from Smash, they yeah. might actually want to go and play it on the Xbox. Yes. Here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, 
The Talent Trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Yeah, I, I like the move set already. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. See you later, Leon. You have a good one. Their flurry attack is a rat attack wrap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. I'm expecting this, this is only going to be a few minutes, so uh, I'll stick with it for the time bar. being. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazui is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is wing whack. It is crazy, yeah. Their back air is an air rat a tat rat. You would think they would give him a bit of time to go their off and is beak buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. get some of their staff to, to help edit. But he's, he's done a good job of it anyway, so. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based the, on The thing is, I like about Sakurai, though, is he is so dedicated to Smash the Brothers. Were something that existed in the Banjo you can Banjo tell that he really too. enjoys making it. The um, is based on an animation from Banjo he's poured so Banjo much of his time into the game. It's like, kind of like his little now baby. Like go over their special moves. <laughs> in a way, I guess. So, uh, anything to make it look good, I'm sure he's going to be... Uh, pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. Willing to uh, even work in his own time to edit a video together. I do like the fact though that they pretty much translated all of the moves from the original Banjo Kazooie games. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease. So I think my fear was that it was going to be, be a, a little bit too similar to Duck Hunt Duo. But no, it's completely different. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. I still love the However, fact that before the Wii U come out, there are five of them in total. Uh, Nintendo announced there was going to be a new Smash Brothers coming out, and Sakurai didn't know anything about it. He was like, sorry, what? <laughs> no one told me about this, but, um... Yeah, I'm surprised he ain't gone mad. I know he got quite kind of ill from working so hard on the game. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can Yeah, nuts and bolts, that season. wasn't a real uh, banjo because there we go. Rate, we we exclude that. We don't talk left. about that game around here. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. Yeah, so I, I mean, going back to the bingo, there were a few things on it. There were a few that I stupidly missed off. Like, I did think there might be a, a Tetris update, and it turns out there was. But quite a few of them, the Snare stuff was on there. Meaning you can jump twice in a row. But I think so I, fall, I got a lot like wrong this, this time, like a serious, dodge, serious amount wrong. What was up with those weird DVA in Smash rumors? Yeah, I know. The height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long... I think it was, that, what, from Overwatch? I think, I think it was just the fact that that case was uh, leaked. So people thought Overwatch. And the fact that they heard it was going to be a female character, they assumed it was going to be from Overwatch, but it wasn't a female character at all. So whoever leaked that information was, yeah, talking complete crap, basically. They had no idea. After a certain time, it will explode. 
I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what <laughs> delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. Okay, that's different. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform. I'm glad it stopped. I, I was thinking it was continuously going to spin there. I think a lot of people will complain about that. But no, I, I kind of like that idea that it spins around, changes to level up a bit. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired well, forward, yeah, I mean, if anyone is like Kazoo, watching that isn't in the UK, I guess you're going to be uh, playing wide range of this kind of suit. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. If uh, it's going to be available to download, what, now no, we'll or after this? On. Hmm, I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was pointing at. Yeah, the whole vertigo thing. The swell. Oops, I guess I should be explaining... I, th I think it's a good level. I, I think they've actually tried to make it different enough from the other side. Oh, the final smash meter Thank you up. for the uh, sub, little of 3D. Now. And Hope you're doing well. Nice. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. Yeah, from what I understand, Jerry does it all himself. Like I Jeff says. Final smash, but it might he's not a man, time. he's a machine. <laughs> oh, that's good. And final smash. I forced him out, so I win. Very cool. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. <laughs> That's a wrap. Oh, you get cameos as well. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. 
This poor soul had all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. Oh yeah. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable path for some reason. I'm good. I, I don't want to toot the action game. And after game, that, thanks. she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all it's, calm it's pretty crazy how much this, they put into this. When you can't actually soul. see this you normally anyway, she really you're only going to be, be able to see her running from way it. above, so oh, maybe it's kind of nice actually getting this view of her. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Gingenator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game, so you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas, so I hope you enjoy it. We do appreciate it, Sakurai. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country-style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. That's pretty good going, actually, 10. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Interesting. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal, so I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He oh, created cool. the original Banjo-Kazooie's music. I saw him uh, a few months ago actually at an event. That's good that he's kind of worked on the game with years, them. But this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. What's it got lined up for us, huh? And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. And off it goes. <laughs> high. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contest. So I, you know it. what? I thought Home Run Contest had been put in the game already, so... I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome <laughs> Expressway. You can actually play with a second player. He's... Yeah, he's, he's like a rock star. Let's give it a go. Isn't attack, he? Attack, like, attack, everyone knows him players. for his work he does on the game. Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. Oh, he hasn't got any friends. 
In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. That's cool. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update, so I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. It, it just keeps coming. <laughs> Go on then, what are we getting? Oh, cool. Skooma. <laughs> Mega Man. A lot of Capcom stuff. Hmm. A lot of people are going to be happy with that one. Like a lot of people. Interesting. You you have to you can't get those included in the fighter pass, I can you? We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. I, I guess Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, I, I, I guess they're not as big a character as really you good. know for them to spend that amount of time working on it. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. I'm surprised there's not like just alternative costumes for Mega Man. The win ratio was about half and half, or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. 75 cents isn't bad, to be fair. Squirtle. I mean, considering that Activision were selling a red dot for a gun, Ivysaur. for a dollar. 75 cents. And Snake. Can't complain. I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Don't get me wrong, I would prefer if it was free. Don't get me... yeah. But... As mentioned, 75 cents. It'll probably be more than that in the UK, Super Smash Brothers I would have thought. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. You know what, I never thought of that. Snake, we weren't quite ready yeah, to include it Ma in maybe I did know that. He c yeah, he can that his snake backwards, yeah. was fun, wasn't it? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Oh, 
Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is That'd be now amazing, yeah. so many characters Sakurai is, is the last that character. It's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt or, there will yeah, ever a costume. be an opportunity to I think a costume, yeah, that would make more again. sense. And so I, I think definitely he deserves to be in the game. As much as the amount of work he has poured into this. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. He seems like a, a really nice guy as well, actually. Well, there you go, guys. I don't really know why they said that was a 40-minute direct. Because it quite clearly was over an hour. <laughs> uh, I, I know the direct part, you know, was separate, really, to the uh, Smash Bros. bit. But still, let's be honest, it was over, It was a, an hour-long direct. Yeah, it would be a great way to immortalise him. If he wants... Let, let's be honest. He made, he made the game. Or helped make the game. He could do that if he wanted. I'm sure Nintendo wouldn't mind him putting himself into the game as me. Uh, could you imagine how would it would be programming yourself in a game or Nintendo doing it for him? True. A bit, a bit weird, but... Eh. Right, guys, we're going to leave it there. It's gone midnight. I need to to get some sleep badly. And uh, I'm sure you guys do as well. Take it easy. I'll be back tomorrow playing SNES games. Uh, about 7 o'clock, I reckon. See you then. Take it easy. You have a good one. Thanks for watching.